Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got my project for the Inspiration Challenge color combination. Um, if you hang around in the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social, you know that this week we have a Inspiration Challenge. It's a color challenge. It's our first one. You can uh, print the color challenges and use them for future reference. Just go to the graphic. There will be a link below and click print click fit and click landscape and you'll get this um color inspiration you can put these in a binder that's what i'll do and pull them out whenever i need a little burst of inspiration our color combination today is crushed curry calypso coral and garden green and this is my project i did a cute little pencil box I found these pencils at the Dollar Tree. All right, so they're 12 pencils for a dollar, um, Jot brand. They have pineapples and then kind of a green glitter, a yellow holographic, and then palm trees. And I thought they'd be so perfect with my favorite pineapple dye. Isn't that adorable? Pineapple dye is from the In the Tropics dyes. I'm just loving this. It's one of the um, things that we're heavily featuring in Camp Wanna Stamp this year. I just can't resist the fruits. Fruit treats are super um, common. And so that's why this dye set is so good. All right, so let's get started here. I've got four pencils and um some cardstock here our challenge is crushed curry so that's going to be the base of our box our crushed curry piece is three and a half by five and a half and there will be a template in the photo in the project sheet just follow the link where it says product details here it'll take you to the blog and the printable project sheet is linked right underneath the embedded video if you're on the blog it's right under the video that you're watching we're going to score on the three and a half inch side at one half at three quarters two two and a quarter and then we're going to rotate to the right we're going to score one time at one quarter inch so there's our little pencil box i've got my bone folder snips and tear and tape let's go ahead and work all of these score lines with the bone folder and then we'll trim according to the template. All right, everything's worked. You're going to have this one half inch um, panel for your glue tab on your left side there. So the first one on the left, you're going to cut out that tiny rectangle in the corner. I like to do a little bevel cut and then just kind of miter the top corner. That's your glue tab. And then you just got to liberate the tabs on the bottom of the box here. I do a little tiny triangle snip some now. Tear and tape. We're going to put this along the long glue tab here. Now we're not going to fold at the first tab, uh, fold or score line. We're going to fold at the second score line. And then from the opposite side, we'll fold at the first score line. What we want to do is kind of gently bring together the edge of the paper with that fold. And then once you've got a nice line there, you can go ahead and burnish that. And there's our cute little box. Now this is the back of the box with the seam. So we want to keep that consistent. We want to bring the seam from the front of the box to the back. So we're gonna put adhesive on the bottom front tab. And I'm gonna do a little tear and tape here, but the tear and tape is gonna be about as wide as the tab. So what you can do is after you remove the liner, then you can fold the edge of that adhesive so that it doesn't peek out when you close. All right, side tabs in. Then you'll take the back of the box to the front and then the front of the box to the back, squaring everything up best as you can when you go. Then you can put your bone folder down in the bottom of that box there and just burnish that tape. Let's add our pencils. I just love these. I love the little pineapple ones best. I could have gone for a whole pack of pineapples, but you know, we'll accept the palm trees and the 
foil and the glitter ones too. And just because it's my favorite doesn't mean that it's everybody's. Now we wanna be very careful here and keep the back of our box back. We're gonna wrap the box with a little bit of this um, wood grain paper. I thought it felt kind of like a beach shack or a boardwalk. I don't know, it just was a nice kind of neutral that brought a pattern to our box. And it's four inches by four and three eighths inches. What we wanna do is starting on the back of the box, we want to bring the edge to the corner of our box and then slide that nice and tight. And we wanna burnish and we just wanna, we're making a, a mark, an edge where we can follow along and then from the front of the box, we're gonna do the same thing, just kind of pinch and crease. You can use your bone folder if you want to. And then again, we're gonna wrap. So we'll pull that snug, lift up, and burnish the fold, fold over, burnish the fold, and you'll see it's gonna go right to the edge of your box, making a seam on the back of the box along the edge. Nice, neat. Kind of camouflaged seam. So I'm gonna turn it back this way and I'm gonna work that fold and I'm gonna work this fold and I'm just kind of creasing. I'm putting the corner of the box right in between my thumb and index finger. And then last one, we're just gonna work that crease again. Now, multi-purpose liquid glue. We'll open this up and take out the box. We're gonna do just a little border all the way around with the multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we'll wrap our box back up. This method of kind of marking your, your corners, creasing as you go, means that you don't have to score at 16th of an inch intervals to accommodate wrapping around one piece, one box with another paper. So we're going to find that center again. we got a little bit of time here to, to um, slide if need be. You want to make sure that the back of your designer series paper and the back of your box are all the same side. All your seams are going to go to the back here. And then just burnish down your wrapper. So now you've got a nice snug wrapper and no need to score all those sixteenths of an inch to accommodate wrapping around a box. All right, now let's do some die cutting, shall we? Look how cute that is. I'm gonna slide this guy out of the picture and show you what I've got here. I have got a scrap of crushed curry. That's our color challenge here. And then garden green, calypso coral. And I did one little die cut ahead of time. So let me show you this one. I've got this little basic white tag. I cut that one ahead of time using the ornate frames dies. I love this little tag. It's a little bit long for our use here today with the thank you word. So let me grab the paper trimmer. We're going to cut that down and then we'll do some die cutting. All right. I've got my paper trimmer. Oh, look. Looks like I just cut down a tag. <laughs> All right. Quarter of an inch. We're going to just trim off a quarter of an inch from the end of our tag. Use your paper trimmer, line it up. All right, there's our modified tag, just a little bit shorter. Got my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'm going to pop those scraps into the machine. And we're going to cut using our In the Tropics dies. I've got the little topper for my pineapple, the leaves. And then that fun texture, love that. And then look at those three little flowers. They're so handy for embellishment. Let's give that a crank. Imagine all the fun treats you can do with this. Look at how clean that little topper just cuts right out. For these more intricate pieces, let's grab our take your pick tool. Got my little pop-up trash can here, and I'm just gonna hold my pineapple right over and just pop these little negative pieces out. They're cut real clean, this die 
really makes an awesome detailed cut but we're going to give them a little push and then the little circles actually release the positive die cut the piece that we're looking for so then we'll just tap on some of those circles to loosen it up and what's left in there just give it a flick like i said it's cut real clean you just got to move the pieces there's that oh still one more i love it all right now our little flowers and we'll just give those a little push one two three cuties aren't they all right let's get this put aside and bring our project back in here here's what we're making love it i'm gonna do a little bit of stamping i'm gonna go with a hello greeting on the tag i love that can be for anybody got the coordinating timeless tropical cling mount stamp set here and we're going to stamp hello right on there with a little bit of soft suede ink so pretty we're gonna assemble our pineapple but first this gorgeous ribbon do you see this pale yellow ribbon we're going to make that one ourselves. We're going to use this gorgeous white crinkled seam binding. Love this ribbon. It's anything you want it to be. I'm going to color the white ribbon using the Dark So Saffron Stampin' Blend marker. And the best way to do that is just lay the edge of the marker on the ribbon and just pull the color down through. Because the marker is alcohol based it will dry the ribbon will dry quickly but we do want to give it just a second to dry and we'll put together our pineapple while we wait let's see here I'm gonna do just another inch or two I'd rather have more than I need and I'm sure that is going to be more than I need that's about 16 inches and I'm sure it's um, a few inches more than what we'll need all right, we're gonna bring some more so saffron into our color combination here. I got a scrap and multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm gonna go ahead and glue my pineapple to the so saffron base. So we're gonna get that great multicolor look. Really adds some fun texture. And I'm just gonna very lightly squeeze the bottle, barely even, and just scribble little bits of glue. Once again, I did not get my multi-purpose sheets. That would be perfect for this project. And it would just be peel and stick on that detail cut. Let's go ahead and just roll the points on our little crown here. So neat. I'm going to cut out our pineapple. And it's pretty simple. I just kind of get underneath those little spikes on the side and cut an oval. The raised edge makes it pretty easy to cut out. Oh, I love it. Now, a little multi-purpose liquid glue here. I'm gonna pop out that little negative spot. We're gonna glue to our pineapple top. I can never tell which one's the top or the bottom. And when you do an image search on the Googles, let me tell you, everybody can't figure out which way is the top and the bottom because people do it with the pineapple points down and with the pineapple points up. I'm not sure which way is right. I think whichever way you put it is the right way. <laughs> all right, we've got our pineapple all assembled. We've got our ribbon over here drying. Let's go ahead and wrap our box with some of this gorgeous so saffron ribbon. Let me get a ribbon scissor. And I'm going to cut a nice pointy end. And here too, nice pointy end. All right. Now we're going to take our little pineapple and a 1 8 inch handheld circle punch. We're going to punch right in the center of 
our topper. Slide these points, the nice pointy end that you just cut through that hole that you just punched. Gently, don't tear your pineapple apart. All right, now you got a loop. Put your pencils through. And then tighten by pulling out the excess. Now when you got it nice and snug, we'll take one of the tails, put it through your hello tag. If you have to recut that angle and get that through. All right, you got your little hello. Your pineapple is kind of pulled snug against the pencils and you're going to take the tail that went through the tag, lift up and pinch. Don't twist this, just pinching, do you see? There's nothing twisted. Then this other tail goes over the top. That little space you're holding is where you tuck the ribbon in and then pull, right? Perfect bow every time, I promise. If you don't twist, loop, swoop, tuck, pull. You'll get a perfect bow every time. Now let's trim off the excess. Yeah, see we had about maybe two, three inches more than what we really needed. About maybe 14 inches of colored ribbon would do it for you. I don't usually throw that much ribbon away. If you know me, you know that that's a lot of ribbon. All right, let's decorate. Get our Calypso coral element in here for our color challenge. I also got some of these metallic pearls. We're gonna embellish with those. I love this embellishment. You get silver and gold in the same pack. You get lots of them and they're very chameleon. You can use the silver and the gold with lots and lots of different projects. And I'm gonna take my mini glue dots. We're gonna expose two glue dots and we're gonna take the littlest flower, set it so it's right on the glue dot, one of the bigger ones. And we'll tuck one of the bigger ones kind of up next to the bow. Pop one of the little ones out in the um, leaves. We're going to get another little mini dimensional here or a mini glue dot. I'm going to pick it up with my take your pick tool and put one right behind my tag. That'll keep my tag right where I want it. And then I need a little tiny mini dimensional. We're gonna put that one on the back of the flower. Now don't worry, we're gonna put it right in the center, but when we put our pearl on, it'll cover that adhesive. And that's gonna go kind of right up against our knot. Let me take your pick tool. Let's embellish each of the flower centers, which will also cover any adhesive, like that mini Stampin' Dimensional or that mini glue dot. And there it is. There's our little pencil treat. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? I love this pineapple. Makes me so happy. It's so easy to find pineapple flavored treats and pineapple themed gifts. And you can dress them up even more with the in the tropics dyes. If you guys have any questions about the project, about the color challenge or the craft social, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. If you would like to shop Stampin' Up! and pick up these in the tropics dyes or the timeless tropical stamp set, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.